All right, so we are going to look at how to write a simplified overview for the tax one. So the format I'm going to show you is very simple, and uh, if you're able to practice and follow whatever I'm going to talk about here, you should be rest assured that you have a band seven plus, okay, in the writing tax one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let me show you the overview. The overview confuses a lot of people. You know, uh, when we were talking about the format of the writing tax one in my previous lesson, I made really mention the fact that right after your introduction, you need your overview. And I also added that some people prefer to write the overview at the end of the body or I mean at the latter part of the um, writing that one. But I think it's a bad idea because the overview is the engine of the tax one. Okay, so if you write your page, if you write your 150 words and you forget to write the overview or maybe um, time catches you up and you're unable to write the overview, you should be sure that you're getting the lower band score. Okay, so once that is known, the overview here is the general impression about the diagram. Okay, it's the general impression about the diagram. The general impression of the diagram, whether it's the bar chart, the pie chart, the bushes, or whatever. So it's the general impression of the diagram. And uh, I'm going to write the overview for the same diagram we're talking about the bar chart. Okay, all right. So another thing I also want you to consider is that usually the overview is considered as the conclusion of the tax one. And I may be wondering why should the conclusion come after introduction? As I say, that is the format and it is proven to be a surest way to probably not miss out the important aspects of the writing tax one. Okay. And you know, with the introduction, um well, let me say to write the overview, you have to ask yourself a simple question. Um just try and ask yourself if you are to say something about the diagram in just two sentences what would you see that's basically the general impression about the overview if you have to say something about the bar chart um in two sentences what will you see okay let's say something about the diagram in two sentences what are you going to see so you look at the diagram and that should form your overview and uh once that is established you should know that the overview should cover just um two to three lines okay you don't have to write plenty words you should cover two to three lines and here you are going to write two key things you see about the diagram two key things sorry two key features you see about the diagram so you look at the diagram and ask yourself what is your distinct about the diagram what is evidence why is it that uh I mean, should you show this diagram to an ordinary person? What is so evidence for him or her to discover? What is so obvious that the person can see? So you ask yourself this question. So at all the day, if you write about something different, if you understand that once the diagram is there already, the diagram isn't there just because uh, they just want you to write something about it. There's something special about the diagram. Everybody, I mean, they expect everybody to see it. So once the diagram is in front of you, it's your ability to figure out the point and uh, come up with a distinctive feature or something that distinguishes the diagram that makes the diagram more um, obvious okay that is why it's appropriate to spend five minutes of your time to plan don't just see the diagram as a diagram there is something more to it look at it figure out i mean bring out the skeleton the nitty gritty or whatever is hidden in the diagram uh, it's only that that you can actually figure out the right um feature and then put it in your overview this is very important spend about five minutes of your time and then plan figure out what is so distinctive about the diagram that is the only way you can write a very good overview because if you are looking at the i mean if you have to write a conclusion what you please say about the diagram that's what you have to have in mind right. so you should bear in mind that you are writing two to three lines you are not writing many ways okay and uh, you don't have to back your description with numbers you don't have to back your description with numbers so no numbers no percentages no fractions in your overview you take note of that so another thing i also want to say is that to make it the examiner um discover your overview so quick usually it is advisable that you start to write overview start with the red overall so once the examiner sees this way it tells him that you are basically starting your overview and uh, you know she pays or she pays attention to it okay start with overall comma and then you um, say whatever you want to say that's very very important and i also want to say this 
in the writing tax one your paragraphs usually come in lines so after you write your introduction make sure that you leave one line and you move on to your body after your body leave one line and then your body after writing the first paragraph of your body leave one line and then your um, paragraph two just like that so that is the only way for the examiner to distinguish between your paragraphs and once you do the lines in between your essay don't leave that indentation i mean the normal paragraph you know no just start from the line and just make sure that you leave a line in between each one of these okay so let's look at the diagram and let's see how to write an overview for the bar chart so we are going to look at how to write the overview i've got samples on the board and uh, i'm going to take you to the usual procedure the usual process when it comes to dealing with the overview i've talked about a few of them earlier okay so this is the um the practical version of whatever i talked about okay all right so it's ideal that you start your overview with overall um this word i call um it, it should i say it's a landmark it tells the examiner that um this is your overview okay because some people do start it where they are very confusing so it becomes very difficult for the examiner to figure out um how the overview is or when the overview is located in the essay all right so it's appropriate to start your overview with overall that is great so the first one i've got here has to do with um talking about the highest interest and then the lowest interest all right so let's start overall it is evident from the graph that the australian children showed highest interest in sporting activities however it was the lowest in new zealand okay so i have compared the highest and the lowest again comma there was a maximum record of arts and crafts in new zealand but a minimal participation for the australians in 2007 so once the examiner reads this he should be able to probably whatever you said here should correspond with what is on the graph so ideally if whatever you have said here is against what is on the graph then it means that you are not telling the truth you are saying something different you are not um saying whatever you see on the chart and it's like you haven't, you haven't fulfilled the task okay and it's not amount to getting a lower band score okay that's fine so let's get a second overview here we still have to start with overall it's very important don't forget this way overall with a cursory glance of the chart the dominant activities for the Australians and New Zealanders were sports and arts and crafts respectively. How a low turnout was evident for handicrafts in Australia and field sports in New Zealand in 2007. So this is another way of writing the overview. So there's no one way to come out as an overview. But whatever you write should be evident on the graph. And it should be, I mean, a key feature everybody is able to see. Alright. And the last overview I wrote here is very simple and short. And uh, it has to do with looking at the equals on the bar chart. Okay, so on the bar chart, it was evident that um, both Australia and the New Zealand enjoy computer games at the same level. Okay, so overall, it is obvious from the bar chart that in 2007, both children of the Australia and New Zealand showed equal interest in computer games. So these are basically um, some samples of the overview with regards to the diagram we are seeing on the screen. Okay. So the overview is not difficult. You just have to get time when you spend about five minutes of your time, as I always say, to learn your essay. Don't just you see sometimes when you are looking at the diagram like that, it becomes very scary and it becomes bulky. But if you're able to put pen to paper and then try to figure out the highest, the lowest, the equals, it becomes very easy for you and you're able to determine what to put in your overview and what to put in your body. Okay. And also remember that in all days you didn't see any percentage or any number or fraction. This is to tell you that in overview we don't back it with numbers. We don't back it with percentages, we don't back it with fractions, okay? You only have to study the, impre the general impression of what you see about the diagram. So this is like a conclusion. I don't know this all. What do you see? Okay, I see that Australians show much interest in sporting activities. And that is it. So thank you very much for joining my class. There is more to come. In my next session, I'll be talking about how to organize the body into paragraphs. And I also try my best to um, do samples of the tax one, per the various um, processes and then diagrams, okay? So to enjoy more of these lessons, I would want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just go on YouTube and then search for Ultimate Class 9. I'll leave the link in the description box. And all you have to do is to just click on that and you are good to subscribe. Once you subscribe, what you've done is that you have become part of the class, the family. So anytime I post a lesson, you will be the first person to get it. Thank you very much. Make sure you share this video to people who are interested in passing IELTS in the first attempt.